Wait, you're telling me that tapping the back of your iPhone makes your Tesla door light up and pop out? Yes. Yes it does. Today, I want to share how to take the iPhone's back tap feature and turn it from a fun gimmick into a true daily life enhancement. This isn't just about cars, it's about turning your phone into a trigger for whatever action you repeat most often, wherever you are, home, work, outside, or in the car. What is back tap? Go to settings accessibility touch back tap, and you'll find two slots. Double tap. Triple tap. You can assign them to actions like taking a screenshot, launching an app, running a shortcut. It's versatile, but many users don't really utilize it because they don't know what to assign. The key is, what do you do multiple times a day with your phone in hand? Back tap only works when you're holding your iPhone. So you should assign it to something you're doing while you're already holding it. Here are a few examples. Launching the camera for a quick shot. Opening your payment app on the subway. Unlocking your smart home lock. As for me, I use it to light up my Tesla's door handle in rainbow colors and pop it open. Why did I choose this? I live in a suburban area where I use my car daily. I open and close the doors at least three to four times a day. Doing this via the app every time was getting tedious. But now, just a simple tap tap on the back of my iPhone. And the door handle glows and extends. It's also great for guests or family, it clearly shows them where to grab, even if they've never been in a Tesla before. How to set it up Tesla example. 1. Create a shortcut inside the Tesla app to unlock the door. 2. Go to iPhone's Shortcuts app and build a new shortcut. 3. Add an app action or URL scheme linked to Tesla. 4. Go to Accessibility Touch Back Tap Assign the shortcut to Double Tap. And done. Tap Tap, Door Open. Other ideas you could try. Back Tap isn't just for Tesla. Unlock your home door via a smart lock. Open the Starbucks app instantly while in line. Turn on the lights when connecting to home Wi-Fi. Send a, just arrived. Line message to family. Launch ChatGPT to start a voice-based session. Basically, anything you do repeatedly while holding your phone. Tips for better response. Some people say it doesn't work well. Here's why it might not. The best tap zone is between the Apple logo and the camera. Thick or rigid phone cases can block the taps. Moist hands can reduce touch sensitivity. Try adjusting your grip and tap location, you'll feel when it clicks. In conclusion, design your own reflexes. Your iPhone is no longer just a tool. It's your interface to the physical world, and back tap is the fastest trigger you can design. No need to swipe. No need to unlock. No need to even look. Isn't that kind of magical? What do you use your back tap for? If you've got ideas or questions, drop them in the comments. If you'd like a custom shortcut or a walkthrough video, let me know. I'd love to help share and build more everyday magic.